Okay, so this question is find three digits even numbers. So um, you are going to give in the integer array, and then you want to find all the unique integers that follow the given requirement. And the integer does not have the leading leading zero, right? So we give in a hint is what three digit, right? So and then we have to return the sorting array and then we know the three digits is either from 100 all the way to 999 so this is the key that we know and if you're starting from 100 right you don't have leading uh, zeros and the integer has to be even number all right so it's pretty uh, straightforward so I'm going to add all of the integer in the digit array into the counter uh, counting array and then whenever I traverse the iteration for each digit between 100 and 90, 999 I'm going to you know um, mod by 10 sorry uh, mod by you know um, yeah, mod by 10 and then increment to a temporary, temporary array, counting array. And then I will make sure my temporary counting array for every single index is less than or equal than the original counting array. So you want to basically uh, find out like uh, the number you are given is is I mean uh, those has been used in a temporary array and if they are more than I mean if they use more than what we originally have then we want to break out the condition right and we can continue continuous for the next iteration and yeah so you may contain the duplicate right so two two eight eight two right so two two and then eight eight two. I mean those are even number, right? But you just have to be careful. You don't want to return a duplicate number, right? All right, this stock coding is a little bit challenging for sure, but whatever. So I'm going to say integer counting array new int by ten, and then I'm going to just you know give my digit the value inside the digits array. Add, 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 add into the counting array. So there's a trick using a array that stream and then you pass the digits array in there and then I'm going to say for each D and then I'm basically just add it. Okay. So this is Java 8. You know. So for every single element inside the array, I'm going to just, you know, this is the variable I'm using. And then if the value is 1, then counting array at index 1, increment by 1. If this value is 9, counting array index 9, increment, right? Alright, so now I have a list of integer. I'm going to call result. So I'm going to add into the list of integer, and then when I return, I'm going to say res uh, result of stream to, uh, sorry, map to in. And I'm going to say this. And then two array. So what does this mean? I'm using the list and using the string, and then whatever I have equal to whatever I have, and then convert to what? Convert the whole entire list into the int int array. So two array. Okay. So let's start coding about the logic, right? So for int i equal to one hundred i less than 1000, i plus equal to 2. This is from 1 to 999. And then you um, uh, iteration uh, by 2. Um, so step 2 for every single iteration. And then you need a temporary array to, uh, to check. So I'm going to say int 10 equal to new int. And red. So I'm going to say for in you know arbitrary number j equal to i j greater equal to zero and then j 
divide by divide by ten. So I will get the the last digit, the second last, and then the first one, and then I'm gonna add into a temporary array, and then I'm gonna convert. Sorry, I'm gonna check does my value in this the temporary array is less than or equal to this, which is contain array, right? So I'm gonna just using the temp, temp, and then j mobile temp, and then input temp. Okay, so there's a way. So if int string dot range from zero to ten, so this is pretty much is like for in i equal to zero, i less than ten, i plus plus, right? Um. If all match, x, you know, this is going to call, you know, i or x, but I'm going to say if the value index, so x represents index, right? So I'm going to say um, the temporary, so, so temporary x is less than or equal to uh, the counting array x. If this is true, then we know um, we need to add value i in there. So what does this mean? It's pretty straightforward. I want to have every single index in a temporary temporary array. The value inside this is less than the counting array, the value of x. So I want to make sure, so it can be like this. Boolean flag go to, no, false. If temp at x greater than counting array should be it should be x temp x greater than count x right I'm gonna set like with the true and then break and then if you know not flag I add the i so they are the same but if you prefer this one then you do it if you prefer this one, then you do it. Uh, I'm gonna just run it. Okay. Uh, yeah, time and space. This is time. And this is also time. So this time is what? All of D, right? D represent the end of the digits. This is all of 900. All of you know one uh three right you you basically three times for each for loop I mean for each i right so three times this is ten times I mean everything should be constant but whatever all right so if I can run this again yeah so they are going to be the same solution. And um, yeah, just prefer whatever you want. And then the time and space are pretty straightforward. This is space, this is space. So the worst case for the space is going to be what? You add the 100 to 999. All of the even number you add into the result. I would say it's going to be constant constant as well, but whatever. So, um, this is pretty straightforward, okay. Just a little bit tough. So it shouldn't be classified easy, it should be medium or something like this. Alright, so if you still have a question, leave a comma. I'll see you later, bye.